Jody, my little princess. Oh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. So sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's I did? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I had no choice. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known fella now, would it? <laughs> what I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <clears throat> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in a DPA hospital. child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate, empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. Try the polite approach. Gets them every time. 
Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. We don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Found her. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. First. something. Security. Yes, hello. Far away. I can see you, Aiden. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> Are you willing to sacrifice? 
sacrifice your life to save this crazy world, Jody? <laughs> Bring him here, Ida. <laughs> Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Take care of everything. 
It's for the best. You know that. But, but my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! Sedate her quickly! Please. Get the baby I out of here! See her. She Let may develop some her. special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Jody, I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. I'm sorry, Jody.
most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Ethan! Oh. John, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them, and they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is opened? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Heilongjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Uh, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infoworld and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. 
Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. Looks like Aiden remembers me. Keep your distance, Ryan. Aiden is even less forgiving than I am. Right. <laughs> 